Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to do a PWM delete for your uh, 4L60E transmission with PWM. Now what you want to do is you want to take the PWM solenoid out of the passenger side valve body. You have to drop the pan of course. And there's like a little clip right here. You just get a pick or something in there and you pry it out. And this whole thing will just slide back. This will be on the passenger side, very passenger side of the valve body. Uh, it just slides out and clip the connector. And uh, you want to take the, the front o ring oh, damn thing won't focus. There we go. You want to take that front o ring off. And it's sitting over here. And then what you want to do is take a Dremel drill bit or uh, this is like a little Dremel tool kind of thing. I didn't have none of those little uh, little small discs for it because uh, they all broke. But anyway, you want to get that, get one of those, and cut a little notch into it just like that. And you want to leave that o-ring off so it just pretty much bypasses the uh, PWM solenoid. It's not regulated anymore so whenever the uh, transmission locks up it'll lock up right then and there instead of slipping in the lock up like what this solenoid makes it do. It makes it like a pretty much where you don't even feel it shifting or shifting the lock up. You pretty much don't feel it with this thing. But uh, and also if you want to hook up a switch to your TCC and manually control lock up you would have to take this and do this mod so that you can do that. So, there you go. That's how you eliminate the PWM in the 4L60E transmission.